Yo, what's going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here. So, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I normally don't get up this early for anything. <laughs> but as you guys know, it's free comic book day. So, I'm gonna head over, try to get some coffee, and then head over to that line. I'm not sure exactly if there's gonna be a lot of people there today, but I wanna be safe. So, the doors don't open, open till 10, but I, I really wanna get there as early as possible, just in case that there's a lot of people there. And, um, I can get in line pretty early, but um, I'm pretty excited, man, um, to go there and see what's going on. It's supposed to have some really cool art and stuff like that that they're giving away and stuff that you, you know, a whole bunch of free comics and all kinds of cool events. There's supposed to be some people dressed up in costume and stuff. I don't really have all that. I just got my uh, Black Panther shirt on. I think that's just good enough for today. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely looking forward to, to this whole entire thing. So let's just go ahead and go there and see what's going on. All right, guys, so here's the thing. I just got here and there's already a big line outside. Uh, let me show you where it is. It's actually right over there. So, <laughs> I literally just got here and there's already such a massive line outside. Um, but it's crazy, it's nice to see so many people that's like in love with comics and you know, that, like having fun and stuff with comics because there's not too many people these days that are actually reading comic books and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool to just be a part of this whole entire um, thing. But hopefully I can try to get some interviews with some people. Maybe I don't even know if that's going to work out, but <laughs> we'll see what's going on with that. All right, so how don't you guys see something, man? <laughs> look at look at this line. Look at this, this, this huge line. Can't get everybody, but this goes around a whole quarter. And the store is still on the other side. So, I played myself thinking that I was early, but I'm late. <laughs> so, it's not like what, like 9.05, doors don't open till 10. <sighs> and look at, the, look at the crowd, man. Look at all these people. I think like so that, yeah, so that goes that goes a whole block around. What's going on, guys? I got Mark and Dylan here. I'm gonna ask them a couple of questions. So, um, is this your first ever time at uh, Free Comic Book Day? No, we've been coming since we came to Dewey's. Uh, three years now? Yeah. Three years now? Okay, um, what would you say is the best experience by coming here? People and uh, Dan and their crew. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, who would you say is your favorite superhero for you, personally? For me? Uh, that's a hard one. I like, I like too many. I like Thor. Like Thor? Yeah. Nice, nice. What about you? I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man um, fan? It's more Superman nowadays. Su Superman. Now, which version of Spider-Man would you say is a better Spider-Man? Uh, I was a big fan of Superior, to be honest. Okay. I really like that run. Uh, it's been kind of crap lately. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on Spider-Man 2099? Uh, he's pretty cool. Miguel's all right. Cool. All right. Um, will you th do you like the um, Jane Foster Thor better, or do you prefer uh, Mr. Ordinson himself? Oh, I, I love both of them. Actually, I think you know it's it's fun to see the change and uh, uh, you know seeing the strong women coming out, especially in all the sci-fi these days. So I think it's continuing that whole um, you know line of thought. So nice, nice, nice. Well, this is my first time coming to this one here, and I played myself thinking that I was going to be here early. <laughs> I saw the line. <laughs> and I realized I was wrong. So tips for anybody trying to do this uh, next year? Uh, come early. That's a good one. Um, bring a chair. We've got our chairs this time again. Always good. But I did bring the umbrella, though. So <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Nice. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Goodie bag. You're giving them out? <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome.
Alright, he's going on to have Bali, uh, Bonnie, <laughs> don't worry, Bonnie, <laughs> Ian, Holly. Harris, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. So I'm going to start with you. Um, is this your first time coming to this type of event? No. Um, uh, what time, uh, how many times have you uh, been doing this? Um, I believe the first one was at a time when I was taking him to Sesame Place. So it's at <laughs> least 10 years ago. <laughs> awesome. What is your uh, most favorite thing about doing this every time you get to come here? I, I like coming here because they have the artists who do drawings for you. Nice, and nice, so I'm, nice. you know, I want my TARDIS with the opening credits. That's what I want today. Favorite comic book artist, hero? I, I ask him. <laughs> All right, let's move on to you. I'm asking similar questions. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, do you? What do you like about coming here? Um. Well, the artists are cool. The free comic books, and I like looking around the store. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, favorite superhero? Deadpool. Ooh. Deadpool. Why do you like Deadpool so much? It's funny, <laughs> honestly. Oh, it's funny. He breaks the fourth wall. He's got a great movie now. Nice, nice. Any recommendations for uh, anyone trying to get into comic book reading? Um, go Marvel. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I ask you similar questions. Sure. Um, is it, uh, this is your first time coming here. Is. This is the first time I've intentionally attended a free comic book day. I usually am going to a comic book store anyway, and I sort of wander in and go, oh, cool. Nice, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice. So we're in Madison, by the way. I don't know yeah. if you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, 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 Madison, New Jersey. Yeah. Um, favorite thing about comic books or comic book characters in general? Um, I like it because it's an alternative uh, It's an alternative media. I'm a big reader as opposed to, I guess, a lot of younger people today. So I, uh, I like the fact that I can read it. I also used to, I'm a graphic designer, so that incorporates that thing. Nice. And my favorite one currently, of course, is the stuff that Neil Gaiman has been putting out. It's simultaneously, well, I'll just say it's, it's uh, one of the, some of the hardest stuff to get through. And you can really take your time with a spread. It's just so dense. It's really great stuff that, that I can't remember the name. I'm sorry of the person who's, <laughs> who's, who's working with him artistically, but it's, it's uh, that's like my favorite. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, favorite superhero? Oh God, um, uh, that's that's a little. Well, I gotta say Thor just for the uh, hunk factor, not personality though. <laughs> awesome, thank you, thank you. And as for you, is this your first time attending this event? Uh, no, I've attended a couple years now. I just started reading comics when I was like 14, and now I'm 18. So, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what are your favorite things about coming to this type of event, or you know, personal experience? Well, like the others have said, I like meeting the artists, like the creators, and I also just, uh, I love getting, being introduced to different kinds of comics. I think for you, how Comic Book Day kind of does that. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, favorite superhero and why? Probably Spider-Man. I think he's just really, a really relatable, strong character, and uh, he's cool. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Any personal recommendations for anyone now starting to get into comic book reading? Uh, just starting to get into comics. Um... Watchmen by Alan Moore, or maybe like Neil Gaiman, which is some of the larger stuff. Also, I'm reading uh, Understanding Comics by uh, Scott McCloud. That's a really good guide, too, if you ever want to get into that. So. Nice, nice. Nice. Do you think Wonder Woman will suck? Please say no. <laughs> uh, God been damn you! Wonder Woman is going to be amazing! Thank you! Uh, I think so, too. I'm, I have hopes for that one. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your time, man. Alright everybody, this is Nelson. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. Is now this this your first time attending this event? Uh, no, this is actually my uh, second. Last time it was uh, equally as crowded, but uh, and just as fun. Nice, nice, nice. What is your most favorite thing to do when coming here? You know, personal experience. From personal experience, I can tell you that uh, everyone comes here for the same reasons. It's a <laughs> nice day to get some uh, other free things in their lives. You know, fill up their mornings. You know. Mm -hmm. And the c variety of uh, people that come here to do a uh, number of pictures, uh, sketches for everyone, you know? Nice, 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 nice. Um, uh, favorite superhero? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the million dollar question that everyone has a different opinion about. Honestly, 
Well, you're, you're, per, a, you're, you're personal, man. No one's gonna hang you for it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Watchmen fan. So okay. uh, my favorite guy is uh, obviously Rawshank. People that are mortal but have all the same kind of problems that real, uh, not real, regular superheroes have. Nice, nice, nice. Um, personal recommendation for someone now getting into comic book reading for the first time. Choose a superhero that's mortal, that has the ability to feel pain. You know, it, 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 it's a, it, it, it creates a connection with the reader. It really does. You know, when you have these super-powered beings, they, they're like, it's all about, it's like gods and monsters kind of thing, you know? You look up to them, but you can't relate to them very much. Mm, nice, nice. Do you think Wonder Woman will flop, or do you think it will do well? Please say it will do well. <laughs> look, I can tell you this. DC has created three movies in the past. Super, uh, Man of Steel, the sequel to that, and Suicide Squad. Man of Steel did it right. And I think that Wonder Woman is going to do the same because it's going to be another standalone superhero movie, unlike Suicide Squad and the sequel to Man of Steel. Nice, nice. Perfect answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you. All right, everybody, I'm here with Dave from the Garden State Comic Fest. I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions, uh, him to explain a little bit exactly what this is and what uh, you can find here uh, when you first time coming here. Hey guys, how are you? Right. Uh, well, anyway, my name is Dave O'Hare. I am one of the owners of Garden State Comic Fest, which is coming up this July 8th and 9th at the Menon Arena in Morristown. Uh, Garden State Comic Fest is a fan-friendly Comic-Con. It is one of the highest rated shows in New Jersey, and uh, we get some of the top named guests in the industry. Uh, this year we will have Greg Hildebrandt, David Finch, and so many other creators out there. Uh, we have the largest artist alley outside of New York Comic Con in this area. And uh, it's always a fun time. Nice, so. nice, 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 nice. Um, any personal experiences with comic books, um, you growing up or anything you know, that you can you know, share with uh, some of the viewers here? Well, my first experience with a comic book was issue five of G.I. Joe. Uh, Larry Hama, he, uh, it was Easter, and we were driving up to my aunt's house for, uh, you know, Easter dinner, and we stopped at a drugstore, and I saw my very first comic book, and I begged my parents to get it for me, and I just fell in love with uh, G.I. Joe. And I've been a G.I. Joe fan ever since. Nice, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, pers uh, uh, personal favorite uh, superhero? <laughs> personal favorite superhero. It's got to be Superman. And the reason for that is Superman, he is a person that has so much power. And this is why a lot of people say, oh, it's not fair. But think about going through life with that type of power where in your head you constantly have to be in control. You have to constantly have your emotions in check. You lose it once, you can crack the earth in half. Awesome. So I look at it more from that side of it. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, one last question. You just explain exactly where everyone can find you guys, you know, social media and time and events for everything coming up later this year? Definitely. Uh, well. Garden State Comic Fest, uh, you can find us at gscomicfest.com and we're also on Facebook at Garden State Comic Fest and uh, Instagram, GS Comic Fest, as well as Twitter. We also have another little special mini-con edition coming up May 27th. Great Adventure brought us in to run a mini-con inside the park. Now, uh, we're going to have a lot of special guests there as well including Anthony Marquez, Charles Paul Wilson, and John Wesley Shipp from The Flash will be on hand signing autographs all day. So it's a great day to just come out, check out the park, and uh, see what's going on. All right. Thank you so much for your time, man. It's a pleasure talking to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. great.
Alright guys, so I just got back from um, the event, the free comic book day, it was really, really, really fun, met some really cool people, had some good interviews with some guys, um, I, you know, you just seen them, and it was really fun, man, I got some cool stuff, I'm going to show you exactly what I got, and what I will be giving away, um, from what I got, and uh, I, got some, I got some really cool, cool stuff, um, I didn't get to win any raffles or anything, but um, I got some pretty cool stuff, met some cool people, like I said, um, the last interview I had with Dave, um, the owner, uh, one of the owners of the Garden State Convention, um, uh, said he might be, be able to give me some press passes um, to go to the event so I can get some cool footage for you guys and show you some behind the scenes stuff about these conventions. It's kind of like a Comic Con for New Jersey. Um, but it's, it's really, really cool. Um, um, it'd be really cool um, if I get those press passes from him. It's an honor that he's able to, he's even, to be, uh, even offering them to me. So it's pretty cool. But other than that, guys, I had a very, very fun time. Um, <laughs> a little bit tired now, but I got to edit this video and I have to edit um, the video Guardians of the Galaxy review. Further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what I got and what I'll be giving away. Let's go. Well, that concludes um, for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed um, all the cool interviews that I had with the, um, everyone that was kind enough to um, be in the video and everything like that. I hope you guys got a better glimpse as to you know what to expect when you go to Free Comic Book Day. So if you missed it this year, fortunately, I'm sorry, but next year you can try to get next year's, um, and, you know, try to get there on time and get it. Um, luckily, you know, I met, met a good group of people, and one of the things I love about this place is that you get to meet really, really awesome people, really, really cool people. Um, you know, it's so it's just it was just fun. It was just a really really fun time to just go there. I'm looking forward to Garden State Convention, um, New York Comic Con later on this year, and everything else. Man, I had a I had a blast. <laughs> I had a blast. So um, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if this happens to be your first video of me of mine. Um, just subscribe if you watch all the way through. Thank you so much for for doing that. Um, a couple of videos later planned for um, the upcoming week and everything like that. Look out for MVH Talk episode number two next week i want to thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one clockmaster out Arrow!